Hi, it's Ed Doherty again at Suncoast Technical College, and I'm doing some uh, what we call in the industry government work. That's one of the things they train here, lingo used by machinists. Going on the shop here now because I got a government job. A government job is something I need. And actually, we've been working on it uh, in class, uh, making something similar to this bearing adapter right here. Uh, we've already machined one side of it in our big pie jaws. This is kind of large for this machine, but we were able to do it. We weren't able to cut the part off. We really don't have a long enough cutoff tool, so we went as far as we could and we're debating whether to try to cut it off, cut off the bandsaw, or just machine the front. So I'm just going to reset for a minute. Uh, we have two sets of pie jaws here. This is for the first operation here. This is where we made this part of the adapter. We had to make this mine plus, uh, sorry, uh, press fit for bearing. This is just a through hole. This fits into the plate that we made earlier. And I'm going to chuck it up on this side. We board the jaws on that side. We set our offset based on the back of that jaw because we're trying to make it this total height. And I've got actually some of my offsets backed off right now. My work offsets here. That would be the original offset, and this is a hundredth out to the right. I'm just going to machine some of it off, and I believe I'm going to put a little detail on the front. But for now, I just want to get rid of material. So in my program, even though I'm down there, I program it so it goes home before it does anything. There we go, going home. Okay, change tool didn't need to. Tool 1's our everyday roughing tool, the 82 degree CNMG tools and either aluminum or steel inserts. I'm going to single block my way over. I like working up my work offset so I can use the, the big page of offset distance to go or where you're actually going. I prefer this one, especially if I'm on uh, the page that only shows this one. Continue on. Right. Okay, so I'm looking at this here, and 5.2 would be just outside that 5 inch diameter and 2 inches from the front of where Z0 is. Which we have a lot of material to take off. Normally I would not extend it that far. But here we go, and probably going to cut a little bit of air. I'm going to shut the coolant off. Because I push the offset to the right. I also want to get in there and identify any issues like do I have enough clearance or all those tools going to make it without hitting anything and everything looks great. I'm going to continue on. I'm in single block, take it out, go back, 5% rapid, no need to do anything in a hurry. Constant surface feed mode. I have the RPM maxed at uh, 2,000, I believe. And we're doing 1,000 surface feet per minute. Uh, it's not really about uh, aluminum, and we know how fast we can cut aluminum, but more about centrifugal force and holding something so large, you know, stuff like that. There's no need to go to town on, on a onesie part like this. Actually I don't use G72 facing that often but uh, it's a good opportunity to do it. Very short profile. So I can control my step overs. And that's farther away than I thought. Touch a little bit. I 
There we go. No, still not. Alright, this time. There we go. I'm just going to single block out of this one. Stop the spindle for a minute, take a look at what we got. Looks like it's cutting okay. It's cutting pretty good. Not really taking much off, but looks like we're on target. Alright, spindle back on. Cool it down this time. And single block off. Probably could have taken a lot more step overs. But what's the hurry? We're at 735, and we're going to end up at, I think, uh, zero, yes. I think I got a ways to go here. Got 25,000 step over. Okay, while I'm doing that, so I wanted to make this fit uh, about 1,000 uh, slip fit, 1 to 2,000 slip fit in my plate. Uh, we had milled the plate in the TM1, and it came out like 3,997. So we had machined that one to 4 inch, and we had to skim a little bit. We actually used the plate as a guide, even though we did, we did mic it. And we did the bore, also we checked dial bore gauge, snap gauges while we were here in order to get the uh, metric bearing in there. Uh, actually, I had time, I could have probably set up the GoPro on the inside, but really not much to see, just basic moves. Uh, this drag bike motor, should be done by tomorrow and I want to have this in the chassis and running hopefully this weekend. Uh, this is part of a support plate system because I have a uh, 29 by 11 tire on the back of the bike. 11 inch wide which requires a offset sprocket so the chain will clear the rear wheel and that's what this support and bearing are doing is supporting the transmission sprocket at, at its extension and it's uh, you know, bolted onto the frame and hopefully everything in is nice and straight and it launches. Okay, 460 we're getting there. I'm just going to take a break for a minute and I'll bring you back when I get near the end. Thank you.